Hey guys, it's Monday afternoon. Uh, me and Dalton are just ready to head out for the day. And uh, I want to bring to you guys this 1963 Buick Riviera Tudor Hardtop. Um, usually here at Coyote Classics, we uh, focus on the muscle cars, but uh, I had an opportunity to buy this 63 Riv and I absolutely love the color combination. It just, it just goes so well together. That silver with red bucket seat council interior. Um, kind of fell in love with it and we bought it and uh, it's ready to sell. Um, it's a driver quality restoration is how I would classify it. The previous owner uh, stated that it was a frame up restoration approximately six years ago. Um, when he did that, they rechromed the front and rear bumper, um, put a driver quality paint job on it, uh, refreshed up the interior, did an, a fantastic job, Dalton, in the trunk. Um, complete new trunk lining, new trunk mat, spare cover, everything. I mean, the trunk looks great. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and look at uh, what they did underneath the hood. Yeah, they really did a nice job under the hood, too. Um, original air breather. And for the most part, underneath the hood looks how it like how it would come from the back. There. Pretty much bone stock. It's got power steering. It's got power brakes. A lot of these ribs were high option power windows, stuff like that. This one's not. This one's just got power steering and brakes. But again, a great color combination. Yeah. I think is what's going to sell this Riviera. Yeah, and it's a great driver too for anyone that's looking for for something that you can get in and drive and enjoy. Um, that's what this is meant for. Sure. Um, as far as uh, this car came into our dealership, we took it for a spin. Unfortunately, um, when I bought it, the transmission worked great. Um, but when I unloaded off the trailer, reverse was out. You know, so it happens to us. Sometimes that can happen to our customers too. You know, we always stand behind our stuff. But you know, these are just old cars. You just never freaking know. But that kind of stuff happens to us as well. So we went ahead and uh, sent it out to Amco. Took the whole car up there, pulled the transmission, completely went through the original uh, two-speed automatic transmission in here, um, from from front to back. Uh, I think it was about fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars spent on the transmission, and it does have warranty, guys. So um, transmission's done, motor runs awesome, and I was super impressed by the way this thing drove, Dalton. Yeah, really ran and drive good. I was impressed as well. Yeah, it kind of turned me into a believer of these cars. I mean, I'm a huge Chevelle guy, muscle car guy, but you know what? 1963. Hell, this is a muscle car. Exactly. Uh, 401 nail head, um, two-speed automatic transmission, and this thing, I, I noticed from uh, like. Let's just say 25 to 70. I mean, it picks up speed fast. So yeah, I'm excited to drive it. Um, bottom side of the hood is in great shape. It's got the correct uh, matting and everything like that as well. So the hood shuts really nicely. Again, that front bumper just looks exquisite. Just absolutely fantastic. The front balance looks nice down there. Uh, grill looks good. I love the front end on these ribs. I think they're so cool. I mean, just the way they're designed. Yeah, um, look at the turn signal areas over yeah, here. That's yeah. sweet, man. You know what, where this turn signal area is, that used to, like in 1969, 1970, Dalton, that's where the headlights are, like hideaways over oh, there sure. at the side. Really? So they completely switched that out. So the headlights are in the middle here now, and then over in uh, 1969, 1970-ish, then these are the headlights and they're hideaways and they open and close there, so. But this is a, a beautiful line car. As far as our gaps and stuff goes, again, driver quality restoration, um, so it's not perfect, but uh, the gap here is in really decent shape from front to back. Um, lines up nice across the top of the hood, um, across the top of the fender there as well. So no clearance issues, Dalton, anywhere here on the front hood. As we go here to the windshield, the windshield's crystal clear, the wipers work perfect and they don't have, no one's run these wipers dry or, or uh, on bad blades where they put any scuffs in that windshield. If we go around here on the trim, you got a couple little dings over here in this uh, window trim. Um, as far as the roof goes, laser straight as well on the roof. There's no dents, ripples, uh, no issues there whatsoever. Um, it's just when I say driver quality paint, guys, you can go around the car and you can just see some imperfections, some orange peel, stuff like that. I mean, it's a driver quality. Never been wet sand and buff, though. Exactly, and a good wet sand and buff might get rid of some of that stuff. It definitely would. It definitely would help, but it's still a great looking car just for a turnkey driver, and the first cruise night car. You, first thing you notice when you walk up to it is that red interior. The way that clashes with that silver is beautiful. Yeah, it does look nice. Let's go ahead and uh, open that door up, D, and I'll uh, talk to him about this front fender. Um, as we go to the front fender here in the passenger side, Excellent condition. Um, corner of the door, corner of the front fender, all that stuff looks good. Um, also, go to our website, guys, coyoteclassics.com. Um, you're going to see I put 22 pictures of the undercarriage on there. Very, very solid original undercarriage, Dalton. 
as we go here to the bottom of the door all the way across looks really good it's not bubbled or blistered again paint job six years old Dalton so if uh, stuff's gonna come through in this paint it's been through already exactly and that's what we like about these older restorations um, is because you can really tell every car when they get done with the restoration looks fantastic um, but the real test is the test of time exactly I'm gonna see how these hold up um, one kind of neat note, uh, me and Dalton did a 66 Impala convertible on YouTube here, just posted it about a week ago, two weeks ago. I got a uh, YouTube uh, um, response from the uh, guy that said he used to own it 20 years ago. He restored wow. that car 20 years ago, Dalton. Wow. And we were still talking about show quality paint on that because it was. That was beautiful. Yeah, I mean, that just so, goes to show it's all about the quality of the restoration. Exactly. It 20 years it held up and it still can go to a show and win a trophy. That's really cool. So no bubbles or blisters in that car whatsoever. So, yeah. So YouTube followers, guys, hey, man, that's cool. If you uh, see your old car on here and uh, we love any information that you used to have on it, that's awesome. As far as our door panels go, bottom of the door is great. Door panel appears to be original. Um, and I say that because it's just got just enough age to it. You can see just a little hairline crack right here. Um, the armrest has just a little bit to it. Uh, the wood grain has just a little bit of wear, but all in all, the door panel's fantastic. Yeah. Door jam paint, it's all done. The carpet is great. I'm gonna, as long as we got the, the original Buick Radio works, we're gonna go ahead and shut that off. Um, wipers are working. As far as our dash goes, um, dome light here is working. Dome light here is working. All, fi all five oh, lights? Yeah, I yeah all, all five lights are working, guys. All of them. So the ones in the back are too. Somebody added these gauges here. The temp gauge works. Um, oil pressure gauge works, it looks like, but the amp gauge is not working. So these gauges here are working. Um, it does not have the heater fan, is not working, guys. So it feels to me like that cable might be dis detached there. Gas gauge works. <laughs> Horn works, speedometer works, and it does have, um, oh, what is that? The speed limiter um, reminder on it as well. And that works as well. So, but that console paint is beautiful. Check out all our still pictures because this interior looks fantastic, guys. Headliner, awesome. All the lights work in the back. The back uh, trim panels back there are super tight along that headliner in very nice shape. The chrome trim along the side of the door I mean, Jason, our detail guy, just does a fantastic job on these cars for us. We're very really lucky to have him. Um, the back shelf on here is a little wrinkly, guys. That could be something that could be restored, which would look better, um, looks original. Back seats, front seats look like they've all been restored six years ago. Door panels in the back are original. They're in excellent shape as well. Wood grain's original, nice. And just check that interior out. Yeah, beautiful. I love the way when you sit in the driver's seat on this car, it kind of feels like you're in the cockpit of an airplane. Um, the way that center console kind of flows up. Past it does. It. It's a, it's got a flowing interior and great flowing body lines. Yeah. Uh, as far as our wheels go, it's got the Buick, Buick Rally wheels. Uh, Jay polished them all up really good. Tires look like they're in great shape. 215, 75, 15s as far as our tires go. Um, in front of the rear quarters, excellent shape. Over the wheel wells, good. In behind the rear quarter, again, six years on the restoration. Um, still looks really good, guys. The body, um, nice and straight. Again, West and Buff would even make it that much straighter, but it's not a chalky body at all. No. no. Not wavy at all, guys. It's just a clean car. It was just like you said, a driver quality paint job, so you're gonna see some orange peel. Uh, back bumper, brand new, looks awesome, guys. Dual exhaust sounds really nice. Yeah, it, that dual exhaust just thugs. It sounds good. It does. Um, as far as our gap goes here, um, we don't have any clearance issues anywhere in this side and it lines up nice and uh, smooth. Both sides line up nice, guys. The gap is perfect on both sides of the trunk. Really clean. Lines up really nice all the way across the back here. Doesn't stick out. As far as looking up and down the sides, again, clean car. Tires have excellent tread on them. Lower quarter panel looks good. And guys,
guys, everyone watching this on YouTube, if you have any cool stories of you and a Buick Riviera when you were a kid or you remember your parents driving one or anything, put those stories down in the comments section and so everyone can kind of read and reminisce and, and enjoy. Because that's what's so cool about these old cars is the stories that come with them. Exactly, and we love hearing them too. Not yeah. just our customers, but we love reading the stories and we read them all. So um, front door gap looks really good. The back door gap could be adjusted back just a little bit. The gap's a little bigger than the front. Um, really no bubbles or blisters down in that lower fender. Uh, wheel well trim, there's some dings and stuff in the wheel well trim, that's not perfect. Oh, the mirror's in great shape. Again, there's that nice plush red interior. Sits and idles nice too, D. Yeah, I was just about to mention that. I mean, the whole time we've been sitting here for like 10 minutes, I mean, it idles really nice. Uh, driver's side door panel again, it appears to me to be original and it's in excellent shape. Now that is the original, I kind of wondered if that was an aftermarket uh, steering column Dalton, um, just because I don't see many of these ribs, yeah. it's pretty cool. You know, yeah, it's kind of cool. Kind of louvered and, yeah. yep. yeah, and it's really got cool. the tilt and everything, but it is a stock steering column. So. Neat. Yep. Neat. Um, as far as the seats, we do have some wear on the leather. It almost feels like leather, doesn't it? I think yeah. it is leather. Um, it does have some a little tear right here, very small, and uh, in and out, getting in and out of that leather. It makes you wonder if some of that isn't original. I know. I, it's so soft, though. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's just so soft. Carpet's in excellent shape. Back seat. Um, I'm going to turn this over to Dalton, guys, but uh, the interior is really nice. As far as our uh, odometer, it reads uh, 16,072. I'm guessing it's just 116. Um, gas gauge works perfect. We talked about the horn, uh, tilt wheel. The only thing that I know, guys, that doesn't work, and I mentioned, is just a heater fan, Dalton. For sure. Roll our windows up windows a little bit. Nice. Yeah, they really do. We left it. I'm glad I gave the guys a choice. I thought, you know what, we might uh, just change this to a three speed automatic because I didn't want to spend the 1500 bucks for the rebuild the transmission. Yeah. But I'm glad we went with the original two speed rebuild because this thing just shifts so great. Yeah. And these transmissions are kind of cool too. I know um, Grandpa was kind of telling me the other day um, these transmissions that are in these ribs, yeah. they made them for three years. Okay. Um, I don't remember, you probably know a little bit more than I do about them. Um, they said they only made them for th three years, Buick put them in there. Um, just these two speeds. Uh, they're like the power glide, but not quite, right? Yes. They, they yes. shift a little different, yep. I think. Yep, they're, I mean, just kind of put them in, put them in drive and go. Yeah, um, let's just check saying. it out, man. I'm kind of excited about it. Like I said, I know I didn't have a ton of power, like a ton out of the hole kind of stuff. Uh -huh. It just picked up speed fast last time yeah. I drove it. Just like that. Yeah. Listen to that baby. <laughs> yeah, she purrs good. No, what Holy are you doing? 70, that fast. Oh wow. She reminds me of a diesel motor when the turbos kick in at about 50 <laughs> and it just picks up. This is sweet. Look at that, 80 miles an hour just real quick. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it's not, they're, they're not a tire school of car, but no. man, they pick up speed. <laughs> they hurry. Do. Yeah, they do. Kind of like a jet taking off. Just like that. That's exactly yeah. how they're supposed to be. Holy wow. smokes. Wow. What are you doing now? Uh, speeding. Speeding. <laughs> it's easy to do though, guys. Yeah, um, it is. And it's come. Yeah, look at the steering of it. The steering yeah. wheel is perfectly straight. Yeah. Riviera straight across there. And in so many of these I mean, old this cars. This thing throws you back in your seat at 65 yeah. mile an hour. Wow. And I mean, in so many of these old cars too, I mean, when you get up to these speeds, sometimes it gets kind of nerve wracking. You're 75. And guys, we do these speeds so you know, because exactly. every car will drive good at 55 mile an hour. Exactly. But if you get over that 65, 70, you're getting them shaking, shimmying, yep. uh, rear end noise. Yeah. It says none of that. Exactly. I mean, it's, I'm really impressed by how it drives. And Should we just check out the brakes a little yeah, bit? Yeah, check them out. Oh geez. Yep. She stopped straight. Look. Perfect. Wow. Yeah, no pull left or right. I think they're doing brakes too, but no pull. Yep. I mean, it's set up, guys. Here we go again. There it goes, kicks right down. Boom, holy crap, we're climbing. Yeah, I mean, this is not a perfect car by any means, guys, but it is a fantastic driver. Um, that's, I mean, really beautiful. 
Um, and comfortable. What about it, comfortable? It drives like that T-Bird. Yeah, it does. You know, we were, we were sold on, on box T-Bird. Yep. You know, that blue T-Bird, because they drive so nice, but you know what? This rib drives just, just as, as nice. nice and is as comfortable. Yep, and if that's any test to how fast it's going to sell, that T-Bird lasted uh, three days or so. Um, I mean, and, and just good driving cars. It's so hard to find in classics sometimes. Oh, yeah. I mean, you'd be surprised on how much stuff's out there that just really runs like shit. Yeah. Really does. It does. Uh, but this runs fantastic, guys. So go to our website, coyoteclassics.com. I'll put the link down in the description. Um, and check this car out. If you aren't subscribed yet, uh, take a moment. Go click the subscribe button. Uh, really appreciate it. And again, comment some stories that you have or remember uh, with an old Riviera. Thanks for watching.